Signs of normal coming back, Kershawn, thank you. According to a new Gallup poll, six out of 10 workers report working from home at some point during the COVID-19 shutdown, and internet usage is skyrocketing as a result. News Channel 13's Alexis Dominguez joins us live with how one company is working to keep you from getting kicked offline. Alexis. Heather Comcast is the largest residential provider, and they say that since March 1st, they've seen an increase in traffic by 57%. More people are now online as life outside is put on hold. Certainly seen a higher usage of uh, the internet from home as people continue distance learning and are working from home. Amy Lynch, senior VP of the Comcast Mountain West region, says the COVID-19 pandemic has brought new trends to internet usage. Gaming da downloads, believe it or not, are up by uh, close to 77%. But most users are using their internet for work. And video calls are obviously a big part of how people are doing their job from home. So have you seen any trends there? Video conferencing is up by close to 228%. While people might think the increase will give them a hard time, Lynch says Comcast can handle the extra load. Are there any tips for users as far as making sure that their video conferences aren't cutting out or making sure that they have uh, the best connection when they need it? We wanna make sure the device is placed centrally so that it can provide, again, the best range for access to these devices, uh, to all devices within the home. With more cities, states, and counties easing shelter at home orders, Lynch believes traffic will continue. This may be in some way the new normal, right? I think a lot of businesses are probably looking at, um, you know, what does this mean going forward? And because it's never been so important to stay connected, Comcast has tried to stay ahead of the curve. Comcast also noted that peak hours are now starting to drop off between 7 and 8 p.m., whereas it used to drop off at about 9 at night. So some people might be getting offline earlier after a long day of working at home. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Alexis Dominguez, KRD on News Channel 13. Yeah, after staring at the screen for so long, there's only so much you can take. Alexis, thank you.